Hello everyone, this is Popular Paxton here, and I'm still trying to get part 3 of the second truck movie done. I just have a tiny bit left to film, but for right now, I'm going to do a quick discussion on a couple of Ertl items. So, let's get started then. So the first item I'm going to look at is a very rare Ertl item. Because this was the last Ertl model ever produced in the range. And in case any of you don't know this, the model I'm talking about is Jock. The R steel engine. So, Jock, like I said, he was the last Ertl model produced in the range. And when you are lucky to find him on eBay, he is going to be for a pretty steep price. Like, he's usually going to be sold from international sellers. And that's where I got mine from. And I was lucky to find one that had a fairly cheap price, like it wasn't in the triple digits or anything. Can't remember like the US price off the top of my head, but I managed to buy this jock. And he came in the mail like about, I think maybe a week ago or so, it could be a little more than that or something. But anyways, yeah, I'm just happy to have a very rare Earl model in my collection known as Jock. So let's take a look at him. So Jock's face is looking off to his right and this face is like a part of the metal mold here on the model. So basically if you know Thomas Wooden Railway he has a Wooden Railway Jock custom where he has the Earl Jock face and basically in order to get the face on that model he basically had to use some power tools, like particularly a Dremel tool to cut this face off. If you want to go look for his Ertl, for his Wooden Railway Jock custom model video, you can go do that. But anyways, yeah, I don't have plans to, like, do anything with this Jock model in terms of custom or modeling work. Because, well, since this is a rare model and it's in fairly good condition... I don't want to ruin it. Like, I don't have plans to, like, do what Thomas Wooden really did and take the face off of this model and put it on, like, my jaw custom. No, I'm going to keep this the way it is. So, there would be, there could be a chance that you might see this jock model in my series, Surging Railway Tales. I don't know how I'm going to include it. I mean, I don't have any plans to include it, like, maybe in Season 1 right now. I'm, in fact, he's not going to be in Season 1 because of, I never wrote him in any scripts or anything. And there's not really going to be any scenes on the R Steel Railway throughout Season 1. But I'll see what I can do in Season 2. But anyways, let's go about some of his other details. So, he has, like, white or silver buffers. And then, here are side rods and his name. And then he's got the dome here and like some, I think this little part piece right here in the middle, like between this part and his cab, I think that's his whistle right there. And then he's got cab windows. And he's got black running board, red stripes of course, and the handrails. And... Yeah, he's got this thing. I don't really know what this oval thing on the side of his cap is really supposed to be. But anyways, it says Arl still on his tender. And then what's interesting... I'll just show you the bottom here. Nothing really special on the bottom. What's interesting is, like, the back coupling. So I do believe this maybe happened for some Ertl moths that were being produced near the end of the range. So like they changed the back coupling and I, so let me take a regular like, well an Erno model with the same couplings on the front and back. Here's Wilbert here and real quickly I'll say some of you may remember a video where I took the face off this Erno Wilbert and put it on a wooden railway Wilbert. Well I took the face off of that wooden railway Wilbert and put it back on here because I just wasn't sure if I was really up to actually use that face. So, I actually did get another Wooden Railway Wilbur in a bag of rare trains from my local flea market back in March. So, anyways, yeah. So, I put the face back on this Wilbur. So, yeah, anyways. 
his couplings are the same on the front and back. When like rolling stock has like the couplings where there's like a little peg or something on the front of the model. So like this part sticks out and then there's a little peg. Well, I'm wondering if this is like the new way they would connect. So if you look at it, it's like got a little curve or something instead of a peg. So basically I'm just going to take Wilbert's coupling and it's going to take a little bit of pushing but maybe let, let me try the front coupling. The phone's kind of ringing outside my room so try to go with that if you hear it. There we go. Yeah it takes a little bit of pushing and but yeah I think that's how these newer, these last few Ertl models were supposed to couple up to things. So I gotta be a little careful when I take him off so as to not damage his Wilbert's front coupling. And as you can see, the back part is kind of worn off. Like the yellow paint is actually gone and it's showing red on the back part. So that's probably from like pu pushing and pulling stuff off the back coupling. But anyways, I think that's it to say on this jock model. Well, he's also got like this thing on the side of his smoke box. Yeah, that's just something I thought I'd point out real quickly. And yeah, so that's my first part of this discussion on Ertl Jock. I'm not going to be re discussing World Bird. I may do that in another video sometime, but there's another Ertl item I'm going to show in just a moment. So this next Ertl item is something that just arrived in the mail today. And this is another rare item that I'm sure most of you may be just as jealous of, just as much as you are jealous of me having Jock. But anyways, these are the Silly Trucks. So, the Silly Trucks are basically just two box cars with faces on them. So, let me pick up my camera here. So, there's like the Ertl promo picture. I was able to get these new in the box. These are once again from an international seller. And I was trying trying to choose between these that were new in the box. But then a few a week or so earlier, I had seen like a listing that had four of these silly trucks. They were just out of the box. But that was gone by the time I came back from vacation. So I ended up going with these new in the box ones, which are just as good. Even though I don't get as many, I still have them new in the box, which is pretty cool and awesome. So anyways, I'll show you guys the faces, a better look at the faces when I take them out. But anyways, on the back here, there is a character card, and this says character card number 10. I'm wondering if this is from, it couldn't be like this was the 10th Ertl model produced. I'm just wondering what this exactly means. Like, this was like maybe number 10 from like a certain era of the Ertl range. I don't know. But anyways, the character card says, Silly Trucks. On a windy, stormy night, James is pulling the silly trucks along. They reach the Fogman's old station house and become scared and frightened, but good old James looks after them. So that actually reminds me of the story Haunted Henry, where Henry is going past the Fogman's old station house and his trucks become frightened. So yeah, that's what that reminds me of. So I'm going to be careful when I open this because well you know I want to cut out this character card I may not do that in the video I may just do it when I'm done filming but anyways I'm just gonna carefully open it I just don't want to like tear any of the back off and ruin the character card so I'm just gonna try to open it up from the bottom part here and maybe just open it enough to like get them to come out Now, just gotta find a good way to get this open without tearing apart the cardboard. Oh, 
I'm starting to get an open here from the between the plastic and the paper thing. So I got one of them and I'll look at this in a second. And out comes the other one. So there we go. That was easy enough. So like I said, I'll cut off cut out this character card later, like maybe when I'm done. So let me just put these here for a second. Let me see what this is. Um, yeah, it's like a little bit of a pantlet. So yeah. Um, it's not very much. So let me just show you what's on here. So we got Thomas, Boko, Scarlowy, Donald, Toby, Bertie, Peter, Sam, Mavis, Harold, Duke, The Troublesome Trucks, Henry, Falcon. City of Turo. And then on the back here, Henrietta, Douglas, Annie, and Claire Bell, and Duck and Terrence. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Not a whole lot, but oh well. So let's take a look at these silly trucks. So here are their faces. I don't know if they look a little cross-eyed or something, or their eyes are just a little wonky or something. It kind of looks like that to me. I don't know if they really are wonky eyes or anything. But anyways, they've got that tooth hanging down. Which kind of reminds me of some of the trucks from Journey Beyond Solar. Where they've kind of got a tooth hanging from the top of their mouth. So anyways, here are their doors on the side. Here are the backs of them. And then the tops and the bottoms. And they've got the same, like, kind of couplings as Jock's back coupling. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's how, this is how they could be coupled up. I'm actually wondering if they're supposed to face backwards. Because since Jock's coupling is, back coupling is like this. I'm wondering if that's going to have to be the same, if they're going to have to be coupled up backwards. Maybe just for some of these models, like Jock. But for Wilbert... They could probably go facing forward if I'm just careful enough not to break the plastic. There we go. I'll just move Jock back and put the other truck on. There we go. And here's Wilbur pulling the silly trucks. Careful now. Yeah. Yeah, these trucks are exactly the same. They are made of plastic, and like Chuck, their faces are not like a separate piece like Wilbert or 16. They're like, pretty much like attached to the model. Like they're kind of like part of the plastic or something. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. But yeah, that's really it on these Ertl trucks, these Ertl silly trucks as well as jocks. So yeah, that was all for this Ertl discussion on these two or three very rare, very rare Ertl items. I'm very lucky and happy to have these in my collection. I hope you guys like them. And until... The truck, the second truck movie part three comes out. This is Popular Paxton signing off.